Um, all right, okay, let's move on and let's actually talk the Chicago Bulls. Uh, Who you, I love watching. I'm gonna throw this out. Oh yeah. man, my computer just shut down. Go ahead. Continue I love watching the Bulls. Bulls. Um, recently, I this this past week I watched the Bulls play the Lakers. I was very interested in that game because again, I I, I thought it was gonna be a game in which the Bulls were gonna actually end up blowing out the Lakers, and I was right. Throughout midway through the third, and then like I assume, well, at until about halftime, I assume Hoiberg showed them some um, Michael Bradley highlights, but Marcus Bradley, whatever his name is, highlights at halftime, and it was like, um, yeah, what y'all doing? Why y'all winning this game? Um, prayers up for Michael Porter. Michael Porter had spinal surgery. Um, I, I also watched some Luka Donna highlights. I rock with Luka Donna. Donich. Um, I would rather the Bulls pick Luka Doncic if they get a top three pick. But come on, G. No, no. Have you seen his highlights? Pick Porter. He's had pick back prop. Porter. Back prop. No, no, no. No back problems. I'm not picking pick no. Porter. I'm not picking no six ten with back problems. No more overall. No, 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 no. Because back problems will last you forever. Go watch you some Luka Doncic highlights. Luka Doncic to me looks like James Harden if he was from. Overseas, so basically Manu Ginobili evolved, and in this Bulls offense, with the way Horberg wants to run, you you you, because again, watching Bulls games, I like Chris Dunn. I think Chris Dunn can be a point guard of the future for this team. Now he's not going to be All Star. He's not going to be one of those guys, but he can be a very good defender. He looks like he has a ball. <laughs> he got cooked for twenty seven in the quarter. It's Steph. It's Steph. It's and the guy. Listen, it's the guy. That listen, you can and do also, about it. and also, he wasn't even playing the whole quarter when Steph went off. When Steph had that twenty-seven in the quarter, Chris Dunn was out, and he came back about midway through the fourth. And the play in which he rocked him, it was like it was good defense. Like Steph lost the ball and just made a move, and it was like, what you gonna do? Like he plays good defense. Steph didn't have all those points on Chris Dunn, but. Um, so so I like Chris Dunn for the um, future. I think eventually he'll be able to knock down an open three. He could be a Patrick Beverly type, but a taller Patrick Beverly type. Because Patrick Beverly is only about like six foot six one. Chris Dunn is a legitimate six four. So I mean, I don't necessarily know if that's I like what you want from Chris Dunn. But look, Dunn, but, listen, okay. but listen, but listen, listen. So you can have Levine at the three. And then you could put Donish and basically have him be your like Harden type role, and that means Zach Levine would be your Ariza type. But of course, he can put the ball on the floor way more than Ariza, and you got marketing. And then you pick whoever the fuck at center. Keep That's Robin a nice Lopez. squad. Robin Keep Lopez, Robin Lopez. Lopez. That's a nice squad in the East. That's a very nice squad, especially if Zach can be an All Star and if marketing can be who we all think marketing is gonna be. Marketing still needs to learn how to finish better. Because when marketing faces some physicality at the rim, he doesn't really finish too good right now. I've noticed that. Um, but if marketing can um continue he's gonna to improve, get, he, he's got to get stronger. Once he, does. he gets stronger, he'll be all right. But if marketing can um continue to improve and Zach Levine can come back and be an All Star, and you add Donish to this roster, I like that team. I mean, marketing is currently leading this team in points and rebounds. He's averaging fourteen point six points a game, eight point two rebounds a game. Uh, he's also averaging one point four assists a game. His PER is at fifteen. Um, like you know, I see, bad. like I see this Bulls is like peak. It's like last year's Rockets, but times a little bit. Like times two. Like if Ryan Anderson was like hooping, hooping. If Ryan Anderson was a mini Dirk. Yeah. And that, Sorry. and you, it, it, and if you playing Golden State with something like that last year, like if you take Harden and take Dirk and put him against Golden State, we got a series. <laughs> We got a fucking series. Harden versus Harden and we Dirk got on the same series. team is scary. We got a series. And I think if you pick Donich and you match him up with marketing and then you put Levine out there and you put Chris Dunn say, hey, go defend. And you got Robin out there. I like that. I really think that's what they want. And Dizier has been playing really good. Dizier is, I think, shooting about 44% from three. Uh, he's shooting. Denzel Valentine is shooting forty one point seven percent from three, he's taking five point six a game. Denzel Valentine, but has, he's shooting thirty eight percent from the field. Terrible. That's weird, but that can improve. Terrible. That's though. weird, but that can improve. Like the fact he's shooting that good from three, I like that. That gives me a six man type vibes. He's only twenty four, so I'm not six man. Look, six man type vibes. He can handle the ball. He can make plays for other people. I like this. I don't think this is not a bad rebuild to watch. I don't mind watching the Bulls. You mean they're getting blown out by 50 every night? But still, I don't mind watching the Bulls. When Zach Levine get back, though, I do think that, the Bulls exactly. are probably going to... 
I honestly, I still think the Bulls are gonna wind up at thirty wins this year. I don't. I, I literally do not mind watching the Bulls when you can take a little bit of pressure off. Like Marketing's had a bad stretch of three games. Like when you take a little bit because Marketing is really the number one option. Pretty much, a Marketing can shoot the ball whenever the fuck he wants to. Literally, nobody's gonna tell Marketing you know, not to do anything. He is averaging. I'm sorry, he's taking seven threes a game, which is too many. Too many. Um, but he's shooting thirty four point five percent from the three and forty point one percent from the field. 80% from the three-point line, 8.2 rebounds, 1.4 yeah. assists, um, 0. Uh, 0.6 blocks, 0. 0.6 steals, and only one and a half turnovers a game on yeah. 14.6 uh, points a game. So when Zach can come back, and also they got the guy um, um, Antonio Blakely. I yeah, like him. Blakely. I like him. Like he he's he's like a Terry Rozier type guy to me. It's like I don't I don't think you can ever start Terry Rozier, but Terry Rozier is a guy who can come in and heat up real quick before he tweak because he gonna tweak. <laughs> Like in the Warriors game, it was like, okay, you you was on fire for about, not the Warriors, the Lakers game. You was on fire for about like minute. six minutes. And then, you, and then yeah. it was like, all right, mm, calm down. Yeah. But in that six minutes can turn the game. Yeah. I like Blakeney. I like the young core of guys that the Bulls have. I, re- I, I actually enjoy watching. I'll probably enjoy this era of Bulls basketball way more than the D-Rose era. I literally did not like watching the Bulls play back then. That's why I didn't like That's the Bulls. That's because Thibodeau is... Terrible on defense. How many uh, Timberwolves games have you been watching? This None. Year? Exactly. You used to watch all Wiggins games. I used games. to like, yes. They're literally. You literally used to watch. You'd be like, I'm watching the Timberwolves. Like, why the fuck are you watching Timberwolves? They're terrible. You don't watch any Timberwolves. I, I literally do not enjoy it's watching Tibbs, Timberwolves. It's Tibbs, man. Tibbs style of offense is Tibbs like. needs to be. First of all, Tibbs needs to be fired for this marketing trade. Fired. Fired. They got flexed. <laughs> Even though I love Jimmy. Jimmy's only going to be. Very good for two, three more years. You have all young guys. Why do you make that trade? Exactly. Like I told Williams you. Williams is like 22. Towns is like 21. You. Why do you make you that still trade? Could, you still would have had Levine. And you would have, you know, like you told me, that you probably would have dumped him away. But still. Still. You would have traded Levine and drafted the marketing. Now you got marketing as your third man. Wiggins, marketing. Wiggins, and, marketing. And Cat. Cat and whoever the fuck else. You could still sign T. I I don't mind T for the team. I don't mind T. I don't. I don't mind T. I don't. He's a, I don't he's a serviceable T backup. T is now. a serviceable vet, no starter. T is no, no, a serviceable I'm sorry. veteran serviceable starter. starter not if, backup. if you can get the T or a college, I mean, I mean backup in terms of offense, not in terms. of... I don't mind that, but the bringing Jimmy in, why? Like you're not in win now mode. What the fuck is wrong with you? 